Hello and welcome to Bow Desert Park. We're sorry we can't welcome you how we ordinarily would, so we've decided to do a virtual tour for you instead, so that you can see our wonderful school. Bow Desert is nestled on the edge of Minch and Hampton Common, in the midst of the glorious Cotswolds. It's the most perfect setting for children to grow and learn and develop friendships that will last them a lifetime. Every child here is encouraged by teachers who are ambitious for them and wish for them to be aspirational in all things. The combination of friendship, freedom and encouragement to do their very best leads to children who thrive and flourish at Bow Desert. We do hope you enjoy our tour and look forward to hopefully welcoming you in person soon. This side of the school is the pre-prep, which starts from the preschool year until the end of year two. They then move to the prep school from year three onwards. You can see from the outside, this is the nursery outside area, which we then open up to the whole of this tarmac space to enable the children to ride their trikes. This is the nursery, which has been redeveloped this year. It is a free flow space. They have a messy area where they can create an experiment and not worry about making a mess. They can leave it and return to it during the day. This is so important for young and curious minds. This is the other part of the nursery. They are taught using topics and their learning is centred around this. Their multi-storey play area can be anything the children want it to be. The most important element is fun. The children learn collaborative play as well as the very early stages of their educational journey. They also participate in exciting activities such as forest school and swimming. The nursery is where the fun and the well-rounded education at Bow Desert begins. This is the outside area for reception. We have two classrooms that both have outside doors so the children can naturally flow between the two rooms. We encourage the children to be outside as much as possible. This is the pre-prep hall. This is used hugely and for all different purposes. This hall is also used for late stay. Although the school finishes its day at 3.30, we look after the children until 5.30 should you need. Our reception classes are always buzzing with activity. At present, we have two classes, each with 10 children of full-time classroom system. The children are taught many different skills and also learn French, PE, swimming and forest school by subject specialists. They are taught to write using the cursive script and a big feature of our early years development is learning social interaction and collaborative play. In year one, they also have computing lessons once a week. We have two year two classes upstairs. They are the top of the pre-prep. They also have their teachers for most of the subjects and then have different teachers like the rest of pre-prep for some of their lessons. We have learning support departments at both parts of the school where the children can get extra support if it's needed. Our playing fields are half a mile across the common. The children walk over the common together. Years three and four share the same time and then years five to eight go over later. It enhances our family environment as the children wander over in their mixed years. Some run, desperate to get there, some use it as a time to play tag, others meander and chat there, and some who want to go as slowly as possible. It is a lovely time of the day just to be together. We are also blessed to have 500 cattle, a few cart horses and a donkey, all of whom share the common. They roam freely, and where else can you legitimately be late to school due to cows on the road? This is the PAC, or Performing Arts Centre. It is used for a number of different activities. We enter into the foyer, which is used for a number of different activities. Class drama lessons and more individual or paired lambda lessons happen here, alongside drinks receptions, uniform sales, match teas, just to name a few. This is the main auditorium. We have assemblies here for years three to eight, twice a week, and the children have congas, which is singing practice on a Friday. We are able to move the seating to suit the play or the age of the child. The seats can make the hall seem larger or smaller depending on the children performing. All children in the school, whether they are 3 or 13, have opportunities to perform. Going downstairs, we go to the music pods, which is where individual music lessons happen. We have 19 different peripatetic teachers who take the children for their different lessons. For the young children, from year 2, they are collected. The middle-aged children have a sticker on them to save the time. If you are teaching them, you send them on their way. The older children need to try to remember, but will always be collected, should they forget. The children also have music as part of the curriculum. They learn how to play different instruments and put and play music together. 
This is where the pre-prep play for the first play of the day and then they go into the grounds for their second play. They, being still so young, are carefully watched at playtime. From year three, the children are more like little free-range chickens. This is their playground. We keep year three to the left side of the woods so that we can monitor them a little more, but staff float around rather than standing there. It is important for children to have space to play and sort disputes, but there is always someone there to help if it is needed. In year three, the children are given their tree climbing license to give them the freedom for adventures. You walk down into the grounds and hear the rumbles of laughter and memory making times. You see children hanging out of trees, making dens, making pony jumps, running around playing huge games of tag, or just being reflective, chatting together. You'll find some kicking a ball around on our astro or tennis courts or playing on Bob, which stands for Bow Desert on Branches. They are fortunate enough to experience the most precious thing of all, childhood. Our children are all incredibly fit running up and down the hill. There is the outside swimming pool, the pond with pond dipping platforms is through the woods alongside our forest school area. The rolling terraces are a firm favourite when the snow descends upon us, with many children desperate to bring their sledges to school and have a snow day. Even some star dogs join in with the fun. Here is the dining room. This is a great place to be in the school. We're fed very, very well here. For the pre-prep, they have a traditional sit-down lunch with mixed tables from reception, year one, year two. Nursery sit on their own table. They're served a hot lunch and then the year twos clear it away. By year three, they get to use the canteen system where they have their own tray and they can choose hot and cold or a mixture of both. By year three, they can sit wherever they want, but there are staff at either end of the table, making sure that we're checking for table manners. This is the indoor swimming pool, which is used from nursery all the way through. The cube is our latest set of classrooms, a great setting for learning. We have four classrooms here, which are predominantly used by the older children. The science block is used for the children from year four. They make it as practical and fun as possible. When they first start using the equipment, the three areas of science are grouped together. As the children follow the common entrance syllabus, they develop all three areas separately in blocks of lessons. The DT lab is another area that the children start coming into from year four. They learn a number of different skills from woodwork, glasswork, electronics, and sewing both hand and machine. They are able to use the 3D printer and laser cutter. They experience STEAM days, which is how they are made aware of how many different subjects are relevant to take an idea from concept to market. The children come to the art room from year four. They learn a lot about different artists and techniques and styles. They can also do pottery in a separate room. The year three corridor is how the children transition from the pre-prep to the prep school. They have a young child friendly classrooms and they have their class teacher for most of their subjects, just like they'd had in the pre-prep. They have their own loos as well at the end of the corridor, so they get used to being in the bigger part of the school without being worried by it. By year four, they are going to a few more teachers, but still have their form teacher teaching them a number of lessons. By year five, they are in sets and moving to subject specialists. They still have their form teacher who they see every morning and is in charge of their overall care. The library is used by all year groups in the school. It is a quiet and reflective place and being in the heart of the school is used a lot. The ICT rooms are used by the children. They have their weekly lesson, but they are also used to enhance other subjects. We also do atom learning as a way of helping the children prepare for pre-tests to their senior schools. None of the children have their own devices in school. Even the year eight who at home would regularly communicate with each other via social media spend time chatting and having face-to-face -face conversations. We teach them all about internet safety, but like them to be here fully when they are at school. They can always communicate with home during the day, should they need, but this is done through the office. Lots of the children choose to board for one night or more a week from year four. The boarding is run in a very flexible way and operates a hot bedding system. The children are signed up for a term. If, however, a child is unable to board on a particular night, 24 hours notice needs to be given. The children spend their night in their dorm. They then fold up their bedding inside their sheet and put it away in the cupboard. Then they get the next child's bedding out and attempt to make the bed. This is so they understand that these things don't just happen. The matrons then come round to mummify the dorms so they are welcoming when the children return from school. 
They have a games room which is for the, both the boys and the girls and the parents open up their sitting room in the evening. The boys' dorms are open plan. The girls are separated into more individual dorms. We do residential trips. In Year 6, the children go camping in Purbeck. Year 7 go to an Outward Bounds trip to Abu Dhabi. And Year 8 go to France at the beginning of the year and Cornwall at the end. Moving On is a programme that we have started this year for Years 5, 6 and 7. It is a programme designed to prepare them for their senior school, but also to give them life skills. Many senior schools now will do a pre-test for the children in Year 6 for a Year 9 entry. The carousel of activities are an exciting way for the children to learn and develop their skills in a different way. These activities include things like interview practice, team building skills, debating, current affairs, and they also use the important ATOM programme, which we do in our ICT suites. This prepares them for the test itself. All of these are very important skills for them as individuals, but also in case they need it for their moving on process. It also gives them skills ready for life beyond Bow Desert. We are very much a school that develops the whole child. We don't believe in getting academic success by simply putting blinkers on the children and shutting all other interests down to a minimum. We believe it is important to develop the whole child for them to truly engage and develop their own love for learning, which will sustain them for a lifetime, rather than for individual tests or exams. By offering a varied curriculum all the way through Bow Desert, we believe we are giving the children time to experience many different subjects and activities. This allows them to formulate their own opinions and preferences through actual experience rather than a perceived like or dislike for a particular subject. This is reflected most accurately in the number of scholarships awarded to our children from many different schools for all the different areas that we provide. We are, after all, a preparatory school and by no means the finished article. By the time children leave Bow Desert, they are fully equipped and experienced to choose their own paths at their senior schools. We do hope you enjoyed your virtual tour of Bow Desert Park. Should you have any questions or wish to be in touch, please do let us know and we would love to speak, either by telephone or by video call at a time of your convenience. If you would like to make contact with us, please do so through the school office, either by telephone or email, and we look forward to meeting you soon.